Thank so you. today's uh, work uniform requires uh, mountain boots <laughs> and crampons because we're going up on a mountain. One that is, well, I don't know if you're going to be able to see. There we go. That. It's going to be the office for the next week. I'll refocus on me. Uh, so that'll be the office for the next week, and thus, no pencil skirts or high heels for me. It's boots and crampons, which, to be honest, if you know me, I am far more excited to be in boots and crampons. Climatizing. Last time we did this uh, for a job was in India. You can check out the playlist. That'd be way back. That'd be like early episodes, like episode 20 around there. So we're here in China though this time. We've got a base camp level of about 4,300 meters and we just arrived this morning. So we're keeping it light and we're just kind of walking up through this valley here past a little yurt guy, uh, corral, some sheep, not much up here except for acclimatizing and uh, feeling a little bit of pressure on the forehead of course acclimatizing with eric filming the crew is made worse because you have to redo everything several times come towards me Single file, yeah. Oh wow, I'm styling with all my gear right now. <laughs> this is hilarious. Okay, so me and Meredith are taking a little stroll through bumfuck nowhere China <laughs> there's Meredith just stop to pee because it's better to pee outside than pee inside totally it's not worth it mm -mm. so now we're trying to figure out which direction we want to go in yeah. for our first acclimatization session well really mine because I live at sea level so I need this right now just, just strolling yeah but that's Here's the view. It's pretty back there. We don't know what that little, what's that white thing called again? A year. A year. So there's a lot of the unexplained things in this area that we'll probably never understand, but that's okay because it's all, we're just doing it for the experience. Just rolling with it. Just going. Just going. So we made it to the top of this knoll. I think it was a, a good one to choose. It's just a, yeah. Just a little guy. Just a nice little desert knoll and the mountains are over here. But yeah, day one for acclimatizing. I think it was solid. We'll see tomorrow when I feel like shit, but it's all part of the job. And now we're gonna go find the hole that we dug to get here. Oh yeah, it's down there, right there. Stay tuned. I thought I heard Get the pick. <laughs> storm.
from Mountaineers Base Camp in my cozy bed and drinking Nong Fu spring water. Hydrate or die. I uh, put the hydrate or die philosophy to test last night and uh, I kind of woke up after being asleep for two hours and I went really like, like, oh, something's really weird. I'll go to the toilet. And I got like two steps down the hallway and I lost my vision and then managed to make it back to the room calling out like JD's name, called out Eric's and then made some noise because I was like, oh my God, I'm going to pass out. No one's going to know. So I think I like smacked into the cupboard or something pulled some coat hanger off and then at that point I think Eric woke up and then I fell fell on the you know like on the bed over there not even my own bed and then and then Eric and JD made me a, a an, intraven <laughs> an intravenous drip <laughs> and they said how much have you drunk and I was like well I thought I was drinking a shit pile but clearly not enough so then I was on a uh, I drank this whole bladder last night three liters three liters and therefore I was peeing every hour Came good. It's a new day. Yep. Bit touch and go there for a moment. <laughs> day one. Day one. Okay. Super Saturday. Let's not do that again. So I woke up this morning. Actually, that's a lie. I've been awake all night. And here is our mountain breakfast. Oh, air is sending All sorts of goodness. I'm having the mountain breakfast and I don't want to eat it. I'm not hungry, which means I have like symptoms of altitude sickness to the early days. I lost my appetite. I couldn't sleep much last night. And uh, I'm just gonna have to force feed myself this, make it go down. It looks super good, but I just have no appetite at all. HTFU. <laughs> How'd it go? You know, great. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah? Andy. Alyssa's back on the crew! And uh, she just went to the toilet in China. I just, I just don't understand. I really don't. But how long have you been here? Oh, it feels like three weeks. <laughs> Alyssa got stuck in Beijing for like, two days. Yeah, but you know, it was an experience. And I learned a lot about the culture. I miss them. I miss Eric and Beth, but yeah. I'm here now. We missed you too, because we've just been here drinking water and pissing and hydrating, <laughs> so we can pee in holes. Alyssa's coming back to join us. Last time you saw her was uh, Alaska, and then um, a quick stop in an, in an episode in New York. But now she's here full on for a project in China. You guys are lucky. You might get a little rap while we're here. Oh, get a high altitude rap. <laughs> We'll see, anything's possible in China. Glacier wrap? Yeah. Snow wrap? Yeah, snow wrap. Snow. Part two. Mountain wrap. Mountain wrap. We'll figure out a name for the wrap. Yeah, it'll be a good wrap. Yeah. I was trying to think we need a new song this time around. Remember our song last time? Me and Eric had uh, Truffle Butter by Nicki Minaj and Chris Brown was our song. <laughs> that dates the crew a bit, doesn't it? So we're gonna find a new one for this trip. It's gonna be good. So we're actually, we do do some work here and we are organizing the, this production schedule for what we have left in terms of days. And then the athletes that are coming in and the camera crew, everyone's coming in at different times, which means it's a little hard to organize what to do. And there's a little bit of miscommunication sometimes. So we don't know if we have like a sound guy. We have a sound guy, I'm sure. But, you never know what's going to happen. You really don't. And we're just going to roll with it. We're going to get some solid content. Because I'm editing it and I'm not editing shit. There's going to be a camera push overnight that stays in the mountain. It's going to be a little bit dependent on who's feeling well. Okay. But at the moment, JD with a camera team. Oh, shit. Well, oh, hang on. Let's try this. Please hold. Why do I gotta be at the top of the summit? Because I mean, you try and not be at the top of the summit, Eric. If I told you I was going up and then you had to stay at base camp, yeah. you'd have a shit fit. You like live off this shit. Is Alyssa coming? <laughs> I'll catch up to you. 
Yeah. I'll be there in a week. <laughs> Things always change here in China, and they're changing again. Snowing! So. Happy May! Remember, uh, remember the uh, beautiful mountain range here behind us, where we're going to be doing this production, which is dependent on Mother Nature, which seems to not want to cooperate with us. So it's going to be really interesting how we actually scope this story, because theoretically this race will pull off, but right now... Because race day, it's definitely going to be nice weather. Yeah, right? because she's going to offer herself to the gods or do some kind of weird ceremony, hopefully. Who, but, not me. <laughs> I'm not doing that. But, uh, yeah, it's getting a little uh, wintry out here, so it's time to harden the fuck up.